Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham and I am at the 2024 RIU Sydney Resources Roundup where I'm having a chat with Alex Cheeseman of Critical Resources. Now critical resources of course, are <laughs> everything's critical at the moment, uh, but especially uh, lithium and lithium in Canada where you are chasing it. Yeah, no, absolutely Wally. Uh, we are very much lithium focused so critical resources is a nice name, gets everyone's attention, but we're focused specifically on lithium. So. Uh, lithium in Hard Rock, uh, we've got a, put a maiden resource out last year, 8 million tonnes. Uh, we've got a pathway to grow that, we've been actively drilling since then. Uh, we've got some really good targets that we want to explore this year and uh, we've been doing a lot of groundwork over the last 18 months to make sure that when we get out there with the drill rig, we're hitting really high confidence targets. Alright, so uh, the name of your project, uh, what is it, uh, what's the name of it and where is it exactly? Yeah, so the Mavis Lake Lithium Project in northwest Ontario, so uh, Thunder Bay, a lot of people have heard about that. Uh, that's where our satellite office is. Uh, the project's about 350k straight up the Trans Canada Highway. Uh, so we're, we're really blessed. So access to the site all year round, even in the Canadian winter, gets a bit cold, but uh, the highway is, is ploughed and salted all year round. Uh, we've got train lines that run east and west, uh, utilities uh, all around the project. It's a great place for us, great location. All oh, right, so yeah, infrastructure like that, that's quite important, uh, especially when you're developing a project, knowing that you're going to have access to that sort of uh, stuff, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you know, a path to market, you know, we're in the business here to build up the project and deliver a mine in the future. So we know that we've got a road, rail, network that takes us straight to deep water ports and be able to take the product anywhere it needs to go. Yeah, all right. So you mentioned that uh, quite decent uh, um, resource you've already got out there. Uh, is it sort of attracting attention from people around the place? I think what everyone at the moment wants to see is, is the potential to get to the scale of a future mine. So, you know, our internal estimates, where we are right now, we think we're there, uh, but we still see more resource growth potential over the next few years. So, uh, we're going to put an exploration target out in the next couple of weeks. Um, I won't give the game away as to what that's going to say, but uh, it's something that's been worked up over quite a few months. Um, it's not a really wide ranging target like theoretically we're going to get there we're going we're pretty confident that this is what's there we just need to go drill it all right no worries and so we you need to go and drill it uh What's happening there? Are you out drilling at the moment? Are you got some plans? Yeah, you know? we uh, we finished up our drilling program in November last year. Uh, we've got field teams out on the ground right now. So uh, we did a lot of geophysics and uh, some some soil sampling work uh, at the back end of last year. All those results came to us uh, sort of January, February. After the analysis of that, now the snow is melted. We've got the teams out to go and ground truth some of that work yep. and start you know going out with the GPS, actually sitting there making sure they've got the drill pad location sorted. So we're we're getting everything ready to go test. All right. Well, it sounds like you know, things are going to be pretty busy for critical uh, <laughs> critical resources. I love it, and uh, yeah, and uh, make sure that you uh, let us know what's going on because this is the sort of story we like to follow. We like to bring to our viewers and uh, readers at the Roadhouse. So yeah, make sure you give us a call. Absolutely. That no, sounds good.